Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today on another session of Cook and Bake with Samir. Uh, I'm cooking for you today. We're going to do a simple breakfast, brunch. Uh, it's really uh, eggs, zucchini, onions with a little extra twist. I know we all make different omelets, different kind of, uh, we cook eggs differently. But I am going to put a little twist for you today. And the twist is going to be eating it with yogurt that's seasoned with uh, some garlic and some salt and uh, eating it with the bread. And you'll notice the huge difference in the flavor and the taste. Uh, well, I'm going to start with, uh, I do need uh, two medium cloves of garlic, but one of them I'll be using with the eggs and one of them is to mix with uh, uh, one cup of yogurt. So uh, let's start uh, taking care here of quickly of our garlic. I'm just uh, getting rid of this little tip here. And I'm going to put, I already have another one here. I'm going to put about uh, a quarter teaspoon of salt. And I do want to uh, smush them. So you use your favorite method, method but you know, I like to do it uh, this way here and also I'm going to add about a quarter cup of, of uh, chopped onion. I had already a piece of onion here that I've had uh, used before so I'm just going to use uh, a piece of it to get to about uh, a quarter cup and we're going to chop it just uh, into s really s a small uh, dice it if you want to call it uh, into some small pieces here it's really a quick uh, breakfast uh, or brunch uh, dish for today there we go the onions are pretty much done there we go. And now uh, I have a zucchini from, from my garden. It's, uh, it's about, I don't know, about uh, maybe a six inch zucchini, a little less. But uh, that's all we need. And I'm going to be using uh, three eggs, by the way, uh, today. So the, the one zucchini, I mean, if you had to do four eggs, it would work. So what I did is I cut it in half and I'm going to just one time in half and I'm going to th uh, thinly cut it. Uh, it's probably really about between an eighth and a quarter inch. And there we go. And then what I'm going to do is saute them and uh, add the eggs to them uh, while we're and while they're uh, sauteing then i'll uh, uh, whip my eggs together as well there we go here we go it says this is it's quick i'm showing you real time here i'm not cutting anything really today from uh, from any of this so let's go to the to the frying uh, pan real quick I'm going to start heating my pan here I just want it to quickly get warm and uh, what about two minutes our pan will get warm I'm going to put about uh, uh, two, uh, uh, two tablespoons of uh, olive oil. You can use vegetable oils. You can add, uh, if you wanted to add some butter, but uh, I'm going to start with two tablespoons. Later when I add the eggs, before I add the eggs, I th I'm, I'm thinking of, I'll see how the oil is, but I'm thinking of adding another tablespoon then. Uh, so yeah the pan feels nice 
I'm adding here uh, again uh, two tablespoons of olive oil. There we go. We'll uh, turn it, uh, swoosh it around here to get the uh, the, oil, the 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 pan a little bit. Then I'm gonna turn it down to medium heat. There. Uh, let's make sure the oil warms up real quick. I'm going to go ahead and, and add the onions real quick. The whole thing. Again, I have it uh, on medium. I'm just uh, really probably 30 seconds here. And we could see the, the oil is, is nice and hot. Then I'm going to add the, uh, the garlic. Remember, I'm adding just the one clove of garlic here, uh, not the both cloves, because I need one of them to, uh, to use with the yogurt. And here we go. I'm going to mix them up real quick, the garlic to mix it with the onions. It's amazing the, the garlic smell of the, the roasted garlic or little sauteed garlic with the onions here. They are wonderful. And now uh, I'm going to turn down the temperature to about medium low. And I'm going to add this, our zucchinis in here. There they are. I have one slice that's a little thicker, but it's okay. Oh, it's on the other <laughs> side. <laughs> There, let's mix them up with the with the onions and the oils here. There we go. We want uh, we we what we want right now is uh, the zucchinis. I want them. Uh, the reason I've also lowered it because I need them to. I do need them to become uh sauteed well because we don't we don't want the taste of the zucchini to be it, it's odd it'll be with the eggs uh, it'll be good but you're not tasting like raw zucchinis and that's the purpose of cutting them thin as well so i'm gonna let them uh, probably about a minute and a half to two minutes and then i'll turn them for another minute, and then we can add the eggs. Now they've been about a total of two minutes on one side, so I'm going to flip them a little bit here. There we go. They're still on, on medium low. I'm going to uh, raise it a little bit, maybe. What the, I don't want it on 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 medium. So, if you want to say at thir, uh, not halfway between medium, closer to medium. And in the meantime, right now I'm going to add just a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. So, so it's about a quarter a teaspoon of salt a quarter teaspoon of pepper that I'm going to add here and I have my three eggs ready for uh, to whip them and also here I'm going to really uh, add about uh, half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper there we go with these eggs here, really, they're getting, they're going to get their flavor from the onions and the, and the zucchinis. 
and a little bit of the of the garlic and again the the, the really all these ingredients once they are uh, all mixed together they they turn into one special flavor there we go our eggs are ready here I know some like to add uh, maybe a little water or a little uh, milk, but I'm not going to with the eggs. Because it's really not like an omelet, it's a little different. But the eggs are ready here. And uh, so, well, we have them close to a minute now uh, on this one side. I'm going to wait a little bit before I add. I still want another at least uh, 30 seconds possibly close to a minute on this side as well. In the meantime, as you know me, I like to clean between uh, during the meal. So I already cleaned everything on the other side. And uh, for the yogurt, I'm going to use uh, one cup of yogurt and about quarter teaspoon of salt and uh, the one clove of, of garlic. We'll mix those together and then we'll show you how we'll eat them. We're, we're, breakfast is almost done. And camera crew is very happy. They're hungry. <laughs> I could see how they are. The zucchinis are, are sweating in there and they are getting uh, almost like translucent color and, and little, little sauteed. This is nice. This is really nice. But let me do another flip on them here real quick. Oh, very, very nice. Very nice. They're looking good. Oh, look at, look, look here. Let me, let me see without trying to burn my hand and whoopsie. Okay. There we go. See how this zucchini is looking beautiful, beautiful. Okay, there we go. Oh, the, the aroma is wonderful over here. I'm, I'm really just uh, maybe, I'm thinking maybe uh, about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to add the one, uh, about one tablespoon of, of oil, just because I need it for the eggs. And I know it's, it's, uh, it's gonna, it'll be warm already real quick within seconds, so uh, we don't have to worry. So I have my three eggs here uh, already whipped and ready. There we go. It's still on medium low, by the way, because we want everything to cook slowly. Uh, I moved it back to medium low. I'm sorry. Yeah, I moved it back to medium low after I did the last flip and kept them in there for about another 30 seconds to a, to a minute. What I also, uh, the, with the yogurt, I ended up adding uh, probably about uh, another third of a cup of yogurt instead of just uh, the, the one cup, uh, camera crew uh, likes my yogurt so much, they said, no, I want more. So uh, we, we, as you know, we got to keep the camera crew happy. <laughs> so uh, here I'm, I'm uh, again, it might seem like it's uh, because the eggs, the eggs are were at room temperature, but still. Uh, I'm still at medium low a little I'm, I'm just moving it a little bit as you know with everything that you're cooking things like eggs you do have to adjust a little bit uh, yeah, I'll just uh, get some of the eggs out here some out here some a little bit here now a little bit there there are different choices that you can do. We can take it and flip the whole thing uh, or I'll show you an easy way. So 
I know not everybody can just take all this and just do one flip. So I, I want to show you, even I'm sorry when I was doing the, the zucchinis, you can take a spatula like this and just flip a few at a time and, and try to get them all uh, in, in, in together. So while the eggs are finalizing here, it's probably about really what, a minute on one side, I'm going to start turning them within 10 seconds. I have my yogurt here already with the, with the garlic and uh, I'm going to add, like I mentioned, I'm going to start with the quarter teaspoon of salt in here. Just uh, then I'll taste it I, I, because we don't want it too, too salty. I'm just turning them here with the with the with the spoon. Hmm. They look good. You want to taste a, a hint of garlic, but you don't want it garlicky. You don't want it overwhelming. So let me, let me take a little taste of the yogurt here. No. <laughs> Excellent. I don't need salt. That one clove of garlic was excellent, even though I add a little bit of yogurt. It is fine. Uh, if the I'm not using Greek yogurt, just regular yogurt. Um, if you felt that your yogurt was, depends if you bought a brand where it was like too thick, if you need to add like a tablespoon of water in there and mix it, it won't hurt it. I know this one I could do just one big flip and turn it over just like this, you know, as you see. But let me show you in case you were doing a bigger pan and for a larger family here, don't be afraid, cut it in like four pizza slices, just like that. There we go. And now I'm going to turn one slice at a time. Oh, look at the beautiful. A golden brown down uh, on those eggs. There, look. See? Again, I wanted to, I'm purposely showing you, like, so you don't have to worry about, oh, how am I going to flip all this? And uh, right now, it's uh, the temperature is still on a little more than medium. I'm sorry, a little more than medium low. And uh, what about uh, probably no more than thirty seconds? And 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 let me show you that the the I'm using the bigger uh, what I call it the the bigger stove uh, top because that way the whole pan is getting evenly uh, receiving all the heat. See, look how it's all evenly cooked here. They're done. This is it. This is it. Woohoo. All right. Okay, let me let me plate it and let me put some on a plate. We'll put some on yogurt and show you how I like to eat it. I'm going to eat it with the pita bread. Uh, you can eat it on a toast actually. You take the yogurt, put on both sides of the toast, or just eat it in one one on one toast, put lots of yogurt there. Eat it with hand, fork and knife. And if you don't want to eat bread, you can put the eggs on the plate, put the yogurt next to it, and just eat it with a spoon like that. Okay, so I flipped, I flipped them inside the pan bags just so you could see how beautiful it looks like. It's, it's, it's amazing. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. And we know, you know, uh, looking for this wonderful, great taste. Let's grab a spoon here. So I put a little triangle. This is how I like to eat it. I like to take the yogurt and put some next to it. There. All right, let's uh, start with the taste. Again, I take, I, I like to eat with the pita bread. As I mentioned, you can eat it with a spoon just Mix them together, you can put it on top of it. You can have a, uh, a piece of your favorite toast. 
and the camera crew is telling me, hurry, hurry, I'm hungry. <laughs> so, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, so here I'm, I'm, I'm cutting a piece. And I am also taking some yogurt with it. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing flavor. Trust me, try it and eat it and then tell me. The roasted zucchinis, the, the garlic, the onions, they're just in one special taste. Then you have the eggs in there, and then you're adding the yogurt that's not overpowering anything. There is no garlic flavor anywhere. It's just that all those flavors together. It's amazing. Uh, and and, and uh, let me see. I think I'm going to do something special today. I'm going to do a surprise to the camera crew and have them try it. <laughs> well, what do you think? Oh, double thumbs up. Double thumbs up. There, here. Maybe I'll have another taste. Is that okay? Okay, she said okay. All right, here we go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's Thank you very much for being with me today. See, this is a simple fun dish we did this morning. We had a little bit fun with it. We ate it. It's so tasty. It's, yes, we all do different eggs differently. I wanted to do this special twist for you. Uh, don't forget to to like. Uh, click the button to get notifications and of course don't forget to subscribe tell your family and friends have them follow me subscribe so you guys can all cook for each other and cook together uh, try it and, and let me know how it goes uh, take care enjoy the rest of your day bye bye